cover you guys, but I, I, I haven't. I left Friday afternoon. Not too, too late, but like a little bit, like around one. And then we got home last night. So it was nice to see all my cousins. I was telling everybody on Instagram and I was telling Sherry too prior that like all my cousins have, well, not all of them, but a lot of them have like small kids. So they spent most of the family reading and running around after their kids. So it wasn't like we couldn't really catch up or anything like that. But it was nice to see everybody, to see their kids too. And lots of food. Oh my gosh. So many like little like. No. What's the word I'm looking for? Like small little like fattening foods that you can have. <laughs> like tr stuffed churros. Do you like stuffed churros? Um, I have a taste. Yeah. Depending on what you're stuffing. Yes. So like, but this is fresh though. Like they literally fry the dough in front of you and then stuff the churro with Bavarian cream. So good. And then they had um, pastor tacos. Yes, ideas. Yesterday, oh, sorry. we ordered from this restaurant because I really like Mexico City style food. So they had blue corn tortillas filled with with la coche, which a lot of people don't like. I like it though. I think it tastes really good. And what it is is that in Mexico City, the elevation is really high, so um, corn gets a fungus, and it's like a black, like a truffle, like a black mushroom that goes on the corn, and it tastes so good. I really like it. I'm going to use the diamond pipe bit now to remove the shine off the entire nail. Glad you got the grace out of work. Hope you have fun. Yeah, and our team here, everyone at eonlecouture.com has been working around the clock too all weekend. So even though I was gone, everybody here was still working. So we're, they're still fulfilling orders. We're trying to catch up, our, do our best to catch up because we want to be caught up with all the backlog right now from the, um, from the lack of manpower that we had for a little while before the end of the month. So our goal is by Sunday at the latest to have uh, orders almost up to date as much as we can. So they are really working really so, so hard, you guys. And everyone's been really, for the most part, super compassionate and understanding about the situation that we're in. And it's really sad because it's not just me, but like so many other companies are facing delays in, in shipping and lack of manpower and it's crazy. I heard you go to the stores right now and the shelves are empty. Yeah. Can you imagine when the grocery stores start getting like that? That's gonna be really scary. Yeah. Yes, so good. But I had to control myself. My self control. So, the topic for today has been the PlayStation 5. As you guys know, there is a worldwide shortage of PlayStation 5s in North America. I don't know in Japan, but in North America, like Canada and the US, that they have really bad shortages. And I was reading on the blogs that they have them in Mexico. And there's Amazon in Mexico. So, guess what your boy did? I went, I actually called my cousin. I called three of them. Only one answered because it was like 11 o'clock at night. And she was like, what's going on? And I was like, Carla, I need you to do me a favor and it's really important. And she was like, what is it? And I was like, I need you to order me a PlayStation 5. And she was like, uh, how do I do that? And I walked her through it. And they delivered it on Sunday too. They do prime deliveries on Sunday at Amazon Mexico. brought it home with me and then I plugged it into the TV and it didn't turn on. I mean it turned on but my TV is too old so it doesn't work. And I was like great so now I have to buy a new television. And the TV that I had wasn't like super super old. It was like maybe we're gonna use a regular copy nail slate too. How old is that TV? Maybe like from when I had the nail salon. So that was gosh eight years ago? Nine years ago? I wanna say the TV is like maybe like ten or eleven years old. So it's too old to that, that HDMI is too old and it's probably like covered in dust and I guess HDMI cables are like really super delicate or the ports, the ports so if there's any dust inside or anything like that it'll affect it so I think that's what happened that's why it couldn't be so then I was on 
online looking for like TVs and stuff, and it's like so overwhelming to try to buy a television nowadays too. It's like almost... Television, yeah. It's like, do you want 4K? Do you want OLED? Do you want liquid plasma? I'm like, liquid plasma television. It's overwhelming trying to buy a television, so I went on Walmart. I was like, maybe I should get like a big TV. So I got a 75 inch in my room, which I think everybody tells me is a bit excessive. So we, will, we shall see you guys, we shall see. So we're going to use a coat of pink press-on gel as the base for the 123 bow. And you guys know that pink press-on gel is actually the color that I personally wear on my nails. Yes. So this is going to create a cohesive bond layer between the 123 Go and the surface of this. And it's also going to protect her natural nail, your natural nail, from any damage because this will literally act as a cushion. And my Switch, I ordered a Nintendo Switch from Japan, and I have a whole bunch of games for it. And the Switch is still stuck in customs in Alaska. It's been sitting there for like a week. It's so like, ugh. Well, I should have just bought one here. And we're gonna bake this for one minute. Do we need comments for sure? Mm-hmm. I have a really small room. Like my house is super modest. Because I live with my parents and we've lived in the same house for like since I was like five, so it's not like we have a lot of room, so. I think like the TV is gonna take up most of the wall. <laughs> most of the room, probably. <laughs> Where is that paint gel? I just had it. Did you hear? It's like the Earth ate it, huh? Gloria moved it. Her spirit <laughs> is moving things around. She's not even here. Well, luckily, I have the 15 ml. Fantasy. Oh, here it is. It was underneath the diamonds. She was hiding. Gloria moved it. There's a flash lamp right here. No, but I got, I got greedy. Well, 700 bucks for uh, 75 inch? Yes. Is that pretty good? I think so. That's like a Black Friday sale, huh? It sounds like to me because 75 bucks is And then my cousin's boyfriend, he was telling me, he was like, you should get a 4K TV. Or like a 10 HDMI, I don't know, something like that. So I googled it, I was like, $5,000. No, it's not that serious. <laughs> Like, I wonder if he's being serious or if he was just joking. But there are people that really take their TV super serious. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was a kid in my parents' living room, we had like one of those big, big TVs that had wood around it. Yes, it's yeah, not like a, like a home entertainment cereal thing. <laughs> yes. And then underneath were like drawers, so like yes. they would put like picture frames and like... Yeah. <laughs> Man, that really makes it feel super old. <laughs> but yeah, you would like have like home cereals. Not too bad, I guess. Mm -hmm. She takes her television very seriously. Hopefully, the TV is not a bust because it's one of those like um, Mickey Mouse brands. Because you guys know, like at Walmart, um, 
a lot of the stores, I guess now even like Best Buy and like Costco, they have like Westinghouse and Emerson televisions that you buy them and they're pretty much disposable. I hope it's not one of those. Knock on wood. And I remember as a kid, were you like that with your kids? Your, your mom would say, don't play television on the, uh, don't play video games on the good TV. Play them on the old TV. But I remember the TV, I think it was like an RCA, that had like this huge remote and you could do two channels at the same time. I thought that was so cool. And then the five deck CD player. Yes. Satellite TV. Cable TV. So the TV that I took out of my room, well it's still in there, I just need to move it better actually. Um, it had the cable connected to it, like the cable, like the the actual cable from the cable television. Yes, on the back of the TV. That's how old the TV yeah. is. But this one that I got is, I think it's a smart TV. Beautiful. Let's bake that for one minute. But I've never really like played around with the smart TV. And hopefully it's easy to use because if there's like a lot of buttons or things you have to do, I'm just gonna give up. I don't know, it's just like a, it's just like a computer. Mm -hmm. Like you can download your apps. But you can't type on it. You have to use your bloody remote and like move the thing. Like, yeah. and then Wi-Fi passwords are like 300,000 letters right. and like big case, small case. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> too complicated for me. See, back in the day, we didn't have to. If like a car would pass on the TV, we'd have to hit it, so that way the signal would come back. <laughs> or put aluminum foil on the on the antenna and of the TV. Yes, yeah. so that way the signal would come through. Yeah. The smart TV is pretty. And then blow into the video cassette player, the VHS thing, <laughs> and then get the inside and do this. Yes. So that way it would start working, and you would go to Blockbuster and rent your video. Do you remember Blockbuster? Yeah. My mom and sister were Really? So you would go and uh, rent movies yeah. for free? That was such a thing to do on the weekends too, wasn't it? You have to move the little cross on the remote right. to yeah. get the password in. Ugh. Oh, it's <laughs> Reminisce. <laughs> Those things affect. Yeah. Yeah. Like the changes. It was funny because I remember um, one of the housekeepers when she saw the TV, she was like, so because the TV is like the screen is bigger, do you see more? Right. She, we were like, no, it's the same image, it's bigger, you don't see more. <laughs> but I mean, if you think about it, she was kind of right because she had never seen television so, so large. And then, oh, I was so obsessed with getting like satellite TV when I was a kid and my dad, I don't know why he listened to me. We went to Radio Shack. And they had the giant, like, disc. contact space aliens <laughs> disc, like, bowl yeah. satellite dish. Yeah. Really? Massive, like, a real satellite. And it never really worked. 
I, I think the person that <laughs> I think the person that installed it from my dad didn't do a good job. Because if they scrambled some of the channel after like they had it for a couple of weeks. Really? We're gonna use a power top. This cable TV is expensive, but if you think about it, it's actually maybe a little bit cheaper than having like so many streaming platforms. Because you have to have Hulu, you have to have Netflix, you have to have all the add-on packages unless you want to watch ads. Right. And they put the ads right in the middle of the best part. Yeah. I remember black and white TVs. And then I remember the TVs when like I would have to play video games on it, you would have the little like silver metal knob that you would turn the thing on yeah. before they had the, the three plugs. <laughs> yeah, something like that, huh? And then prior to that, they didn't have that. The TVs would have like these things that you would turn on top and then they would stick like these like metal prongs underneath. Yeah. Do you remember those? I would never, I remember I'd never, like until I was a lot older, use the um yeah, the, the three plugs the what is it yellow red and white yes AV or whatever uh -huh. and now it's HDMI no now it's HDMI too yes. Yes. too complicated for me direct TV and say TV used to play music videos. Oh yeah. That was a long time ago. Hola, hola, un saludo. Oh, well thanks for joining us today. I hope you're having fun as we reminisce about televisions from back in the 90s and the late 80s. With the big old remotes. So if you have a smart TV, you have to have a really good remote for it, right? You can't use a TV without a remote. Right. Yeah, my dad will lose the remote. <laughs> he lost the phone. He lost the, the, the phone. So you know what I had to do? I had to buy a cord, cord corded phone. Uh -huh. So that way he won't lose it. <laughs> so right now I'm using the mixer bit to make sure that cuticle area is really, really clean. Oh my gosh. Yes, and that like the top of the TV was wood and it would be covered in picture frames. They told him he had magic powers. <laughs> so he wouldn't even watch TV. He's like, I'm too busy helping everybody. I'm the reason why they can watch it. They're like, stand outside with aluminum foil. <laughs> I've heard of that, yeah. You can sync it up. She must be tech savvy. She's like, my whole life is wired. That's really cool though. It was the worst thing having to change the channels, especially on knob TV. Okay. I remember the big TV that we used to have in the living room, and it had the um, previous channel button. I thought that was so cool. <laughs> so that way, when the commercial would hit, you would just hit the button, uh -huh. and then you would go back, back and forth <laughs> to another channel. Yep. So that way we would watch MTV and Disney Channel at the same time. <laughs> oh, so 
the TV that I that I bought that um, my mom's and dad are supposed to go pick up today. I think it has Ruku on it. Well, is it really like? Uh, mm -hmm. Is it worth it, or does it make a difference in your daily life, or not really? That one's a good one. Mm -hmm. And I even can get the regular channel, like channel 15, like when I want to watch the movies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't pay extra for that. No? Mm -hmm. But do you have extra channels or do you, or do you connect it with your streaming services? Um, no, we just have like, I have Netflix and my like Prime. Oh, okay. So it's connected to your streaming services? Yeah. Not like I don't have to be I used to have to be But you canceled it? Do you miss no. not being in control? Or you like having cable, uh, not having cable television? I like that. There's so much more my mm -hmm. So like they have Google and they have... Uh, HBO Max? Are they good or are they movies that no one's ever seen? It just depends. I wonder if that Dune movie is good. It looks really long. Dune. It's like a sci-fi movie. I'm not sure. No, I think it's like set on another planet or something. about like outer space and I don't know, it just looks really long and epic and like existential. The old one or the new one? Oh really? Is it long? I've never seen the original doing that with Sting in it. on HBO Max and the movie theater and then there's like another um, Marvel movie coming out too called The Ethereals but I've heard mixed things about that one and the new um, Ghostbusters did you uh, watch that one oh Suicide Squad no. oh the Squid Game yeah. Yeah, have you seen that? no have you yeah. was it good Isn't it kind of like the Hunger Games, but more fancy? I like the Hunger Games. Because it's in English? Well, it's in English. The Squid Games is in English? I thought it was Korean. But you can watch it in English. Oh, I'm watching it in English. I watched it in English. Oh, is the voiceover good or no? Because sometimes the voiceover can do that. It doesn't, it's not like an only Bruce Lee movie. <laughs> or like... So it's better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But isn't it like supposed to be really gory? The old man is like he's a, he's the part of it, right? He's in, yeah, he's in it. No, 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 but he's like a part of like the people that like run it. I'm not gonna watch it. I don't have Netflix. <laughs> I'm gonna use a pink number three for the base color, you guys. And they also told me that House of Cards is really good too. But that ended with uh, Kevin Spacey because of the scandal that he he had. This color is just iconic. So now without that color, mm -hmm. 
what do we see with the color that we have here? Yes, but not as strong. Because remember, this is like a base. So if yeah. you do the, the design on top, you'll have more of a transparent kind of effect. Oh. Which is, I mean, if that was what you're um, after, then yes, but we want it like a little bit more. Yeah, we want it really more cool. obvious. Yeah. Over black, it looks really pretty too. Spoilers, I know I'm so bad, but I like knowing. I don't like surprises. So why was he in the game then? Just to like mock everyone? Uh, he did say why he was in it. More compelling? So do you think there's gonna be another one or no? Or did the feds come and break it up? I think they'll probably have another one. Do you think they'll do an American version? Because that show is based off um, Wow. For a particular excitement. Yes, there will be a season two, they said. Oh, wow. Swept the sides. Bake that for 30 seconds. So there is an old Japanese movie, I think it's from 2000, and that's what the Squid Games is based on. It's called Battle Royale. And basically what it is, is um, they get this bus full of high school students, and they put them on an island, and they say, Last Man Standing Wins. <laughs> but, but they always come down to like the premise of, like, People killing each other for entertainment purposes. All those like move, like hunger games and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, gladiators. They were the OGs. So we're gonna use Space Guy Security Number 48, which is from the Wizard of Oz collection. Beautiful. This is the regular one to go confident too. Because it's not too long and it's not too short. It's shorter than the um, long sculpted coffin and extreme coffin. Yes. Ignacio! I saw, I saw the message though. Something about Paul. Where's my plate? This one? Yes. Space Galaxy 348 and it's part of the Wizard of Oz collection. Has anyone seen Still Water with Matt Dillon? No, what's that? Thank you. I heard Halloween Kills is not very good. Halloween Kills? Mm hmm. Especially the ending. And then they said, like, in the next one, they're going to talk about, like, COVID and politics. And it's like, why? In the Michael's My Michael Myers movie, are you going to bring in. Right? Everybody's trying to get rid of that. Why are you trying to teach me a lesson or, like, indoctrinate me? Just show me Michael Myers. Right? That's all I want to see. I heard that was a problem with the new Candyman movie. Oh, really? Mm hmm Halloween Kills was a Like, 
good or no? I heard Jamie Lee, Jamie Lee Curtis is not even in it that much, so that is unfortunate. Yeah. My mom wanted to go see it at the movies, but Ignacio told me it was not good. Okay. Halloween Kills. I didn't say it wasn't good. I said it was worth the watch, but I would definitely watch it on Peacock for free instead of paying $10. But then it's not the same. Did you cut your hair? Did I cut it? No, I put yellow in it. Because the ends were so, so light. This morning when I took a shower, I had gold, um, golden blonde conditioner in the shower. I was like, I'm going to put this on. And I put it on, and I feel like it eat, like toned up the hair more even. Really? Really? You like my eyebrows? So what you do is, I already told you, the uh, salt tip eyeliner. Could you tell Paul about the PlayStation 5? Yeah. Yeah, and I plugged it in yesterday and it didn't work. My TV is too old. Yep, so I got a new TV. I got it at walmart.com. And guess what size television I got? Nope. Yep. 75 inch television. Why? I don't know. That's too big. Especially because my room is so small. Living the life. Okay, Max, we see the PS4 game. What game is that? Oh, that one is... This is, this is a game from my childhood. And it's actually in Spanish, because I used to like to watch this Japanese cartoon in Spanish. It's Saint Seiya, Knights of the Zodiac. That one, and then that's a PS4 game, and this is a PS5 game. It's called Demon Slayer. Because I like fighting games. And guess how much I paid for that 75 inch TV? So we're gonna do diamond gel. Remember you guys, diamond gel is our new all-in-one diamond application gel. It's perfect for small to medium diamonds. Oh my god, welcome to the club. Isn't it true, or I heard the rumor is that Facebook is gonna change its name? That's what I heard. But they have been just in a deep doo-doo lately. Especially with like the whistleblower and everything going on. But I think what the whistleblower said from what I saw, I see stuff that we all already knew what was happening. Did you see her interview? She basically said that Facebook like politicizes things and uh, they, they basically um, Censor things they don't want people to see and moderate it, so I feel like we all kind of knew that already. Okay, this is Max. Yes. Way off camera. Sorry, sorry. I, th I think the table's a little bit too wide, too, maybe. We're trying to read comments on Tanya. So we're going to use Diamond Memory. Really? Yeah, I feel like a lot of the stuff she said we all already knew. So this square one is from the... Fairy Stones and Princess Pink.
not sure. It has to be something like some kind of legal reason. Or federal government hasn't come in and, and separated them though. Okay, a few stones to the rest of them. Let me see that hand really quickly. You can't wait to start ordering your products. Totally love everything. Awesome. I hope you love it. I say we go back to the MySpace. Oh my gosh. I was horrible at MySpace. I never could really get into it. Like I had too much stuff going on. Did you have a MySpace share? No, I didn't. No? I feel like Facebook is easier to use than MySpace though. I don't think it had gotten a friend Mm-hmm. Get on. Are they cool like that though? They're not, but let me these. No, I got a whole bunch of them. I just put the red and the purple on the side for one for me and one for my mom.
in the ignition dinner to Christine. Chicken? Beef. Beef. Mm. Sauce on everything. Yeah. Are you a good cook? Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Like, no complaints so far. Mm. Mm. Hello from Wisconsin. Hi from Wisconsin, thanks for joining us today. Let me get back to you on that one, Christine. You gotta make it, I gotta make it worth your while. Um, no, not specifically New Year's, no. For the holiday season, I do have some more Christmas ones coming out, but we're not gonna have any, like, super Thanksgiving-y or anything like that. Maybe some Valentine's Day ones because um, that's a holiday that people do request for. But like other than that, not really. For Halloween, I think we're almost done with the um, the prints that we did do for this year. But uh, I won't have any more Halloween stickers until July of next year. But lots of Christmas. What's your specialty? Tell me what your specialty is and then we'll go from there. Some Tex-Mex food. I do love making Chicago hot dog. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's so good. Sesame seed bun. Tomato slices, no pickles. Huh? I don't think it has relish. It has to have like bright green relish. Beautiful colors. Aren't you studying? So good. Chicago pizza though is more like like lasagna, like a breaded lasagna on the edges. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Cause it's really thick like this. And then they put like the dough, and then they put all the toppings, and then they put the cheese, and then the uh, they put all the toppings, sauce, and then cheese. Oh really? So it's not piled the same way. Mm. One more minute. It still works after you drop it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hungry now. <laughs> I'm gonna have a salad for lunch and that's sad. A chicken salad. Cause I'm gonna lose weight. No, my mom's gonna do 
Uh, I don't know. Probably not. Maybe. Hmm? Not right now. No, she goes back and forth a lot. Yeah, they wanted to take her on the on the uh, on the trip too because they made a shirt for her. But uh, her mom said no. Her mom's not very friendly. She hasn't called me. Yeah, to see if I, I want some tea. Maybe she'll pick me like pick something up at one. I'm trying to think what's good. But you know when you, I like eat so much over the weekend and then you're just it's like, like ugh, I need a detox. I should have taken apple cider vinegar yesterday, but I didn't. I forgot. Um, That's what I should have done though. That, what does that do? Apple cider vinegar does everything. Cooks, cleans, and disinfects. <laughs> You can use it to mop the floors and it cleanses <laughs> your insides. I take the pills though, not the actual liquid. Oh, the liquid is a little bit too too strong, but the pills they help keep you regular and they also help like detox your, your body of like foods and things like that. So like if you took a drink of it. Mm -hmm. like, Probably a shot. Oh, yeah. Every day in the morning and not empty stomach. Uh -huh. But the pills I, I take um I take two in the morning and I take four at night. Oh, you can take it out now. Cider vinegar, it's been around for a long time. And look at these phalanges, look how cool they glow. How pretty. Do they look cool on camera too? Oh yeah, for sure. Well my loves, that's gonna wrap it up for today's live video. I'm so glad to be back. Thank you guys for joining me today. And thank you Michelle for coming out. And thank you guys so much for all the shipping updates and being so patient with everything. And we will see you guys tomorrow in the next live video. Bye, everybody.